Hi everybody, it's Sherry Foley Allen with Weicker Realtors and we are here today at the B Store in Lake Ridge, Virginia with John, the owner, and we wanted to find out a little bit about the store and what they do, what they offer, and how they got started. So we're going to let John give us a little information. So John, tell us, um, I guess first, how long have you been doing this? Well, I've been keeping bees about six years. Okay. And so when we started keeping bees, we started making lotions and stuff for mainly for our daughter. So the name of the company for the lotions? Sweet Sophia. Sweet right. Sophia. So, so we started off with Sweet Sophia. Okay. That's my daughter's name. And um, we were making natural products for for her. And then we started selling them to our friends. And then we went to craft shows and we just kind of got bigger and bigger. And then uh, about three years ago, we decided we wanted to sell other things other than what we produce ourselves particularly beekeeping equipment and some other bee themed knickknacks. So we opened the bee store in November of 2017. But I personally am thrilled. I, I have a, a high interest in bees, although I'm not keeping them. But now because we know you're here, uh, Leslie and I are going to take the introductory class. So you do offer classes. We do offer classes. Um, and it looks like it's a series of classes. So we have our introduction to beekeeping the first Sunday of each month. And that's really an overview. It doesn't cost a thing. It's an overview to give folks the information enough to decide is beekeeping for me. And uh, kind of tell you how to get started and some of the rules around it. And just some uh, to debunk some of the myths around bees, uh, both good and bad. And then we have a series of four classes that run all year long that will actually get into the nuts and bolts of how to keep. But we really, really push for beekeepers to join their local bee clubs. That makes sense. Uh, so the Prince William Regional Beekeepers Association, or if you're in Fairfax, the uh, Northern Virginia Beekeepers Association, Nova Bee. Um, you, if you go through your bee clubs, then you can get assigned a mentor. Oh. And it's a great resource of other beekeepers so you can ask questions about. I have to ask you this. I heard on the news, I know that there was some program in Northern Virginia where they had set aside quite a bit of money to help beekeepers get started. Are you familiar with that? Yes, yeah, so that started, well it's been going on for years, but the new program started last year. Uh, two years ago we had 60% losses in honeybees. So the state wanted to do something significant, so they opened up a program where you can apply for and receive beekeeping equipment. Not the bees, but the woodenware, and it could be quite a lot of money. Right. Um, and so that program is going to start again the 1st of July. But it's pretty cool to think that there are local programs that can help you get started and yes. encourage it. Yes. Um, I had no idea you could have a mentor, but that's very reassuring for some of us like me. Um, so tell us a little bit about the product in the store. You have Sweet Sophia. Yes, so Sweet Sophia is our brand. Um, and we make all of the products at our house. Here in Lake Ridge. Here in Lake Ridge. <laughs> um, we also sell our honey. Um, now, is this strictly your honey or people, other beekeepers locally? So it's it's our honey and honey from folks that I get honey from locally, uh, but it's all local honey just in our region right here. Um, and then we also have a variety of uh, beekeeping equipment, um, uh, books and so forth, not necessarily about beekeeping, but gardening, focusing on pollination, cookbooks and so forth, and a, a just a bunch of gifts that are all bee themed. I mean, it's the bee store. So. Oh, we, we noticed that. The Leslie and I theme. want to go shopping after. <laughs> so if you could tell everybody out there, if you could give them some advice on a couple of things to do um, to help the bee population, what would it be? What, what can yes. we do to make it better? So a couple of things. One, become a beekeeper. That's always handy. But if you don't want to become a beekeeper, you can uh, practice or focus on planting a variety of flowers, particularly flowers that bloom in the summer, late summer, like July and August and into the fall, because that's a period of what we call the dirt. And there's really nothing blooming in nature at that point. So that would be helpful for the bees. And also maybe limit the use of some of the chemicals that you may or may not need. It's, it's just easy to spray your yard. Um, but maybe you don't need to do that as, as much as you think, because that does impact the honeybee population, particularly pesticides. Okay. So, great information. I 
Um, so anyway, everybody come on out to the bee store, yes. support our local beekeeper. And if you have questions, give them a call. And we're really appreciative. Thank you so, so oh, much. you're welcome. You can follow um, us on Facebook. That's where we put most of our information. It's like at your bee store, and that would be the bee store LLC. And then you can find all of our products online at uh, mysweetsophia.com. Yeah, it's great packaging. So if you're trying to put together like a baby uh, package or gift for someone, yeah. it's really adorable. It's super sweet. So anyway, thanks again. Right, Everyone thank take care. We'll see you next time.